See here is a small protest in front of the White House. Guantanamo has been out of the media spotlight for a while now. You don't see much coverage on major U.S. news channels, even with a hunger strike going on there right now. So these people are trying to draw attention to the detainees. More than 50 lawyers representing the prisoners sent a letter to Defense Secretary Chuck Hagel urging him to help. In that letter, they said the participants' health had deteriorated alarmingly and that some had lost more than 20 or 30 pounds. That is 9 to 14 kilograms. Medical experts say by day 45, participants can experience potential blindness and potential loss of hearing. So what prompted these people to resort to such a desperate move? I was a consultant on a few of the cases, and... Um those men would tell their attorneys, basically, I don't want to talk with you. What's the point of talking with you? I only want to know the date I'm going to get out of here. But there is no date. People can't accept being completely powerless and hopeless. Many of the detainees have come to believe, and this is what they say, we heard this from their lawyers, that the only way out of Guantanamo for them is in a coffin. In January, State Department shut down the office that was working to close Guantanamo. More than half of those detainees are sitting there with papers from the U.S. government clearing them for release, and yet with no hope that they're ever going to be free again. The officials are certainly trying to downplay the hunger strike, but they're pressed for answers, and they sure know what's going on and what caused the strike in the first place. Marine Corps General John Kelly, and it's his command that oversees Guantanamo, he was testifying in Congress this Wednesday. He said the prisoners had launched the hunger strike because they're frustrated. Take a listen. They had great optimism that Guantanamo would be closed. They were devastated when the president did, you know, backed off at least their perception of closing the facility. That um, has uh, caused them to become frustrated and they want to get this, uh, I think, turn the heat up, get it back in the media. On our part, we'll continue to press officials for answers as the strike continues and involves more people. In Washington, I'm going to check out.